welcome back here we are going to see the database structure used in this tutorial uh, created a database jdbc already and then uh, just using the database and uh, this is the table structure i named this table register which contains id which is an auto increment and a primary key and then first name last name gender state city email password age address skills and then access let me explain each and every thing uh, created in this uh, table first name and last name are created as a xbox field and then gender as a radio button field then uh, state and city these, th these things as a select box email uh, normal text box password normal text box then age is a select box here and then address is text area then skills are check boxes and then access is also check boxes. later part of this tutorial you know uh, why this access is used here primary key is id and the unique key is email okay uh, now i am creating the table my aim is uh, to use uh, all types of fields uh, in a form so that uh, you can learn uh, how to use each and every form uh, while performing uh, CRUD operations. Okay. Uh, this part is over then creating, uh, opening my Eclipse. It's getting uh, open. Yeah, game. Okay. So Eclipse Juno is the latest version and uh, it gives many support. So I am using uh, Eclipse Juno and I recommend Eclipse Juno for all. Uh, Eclipse Juno uh, for uh, Linux version, for uh, Mac users, for Windows users, for uh, everyone Eclipse is there. Okay, Eclipse is open. Already created on project. I'll let me teach you how to create a JSP project. So go to file and then new. Here you should find dynamic project. Okay. If it is not there, go to other and in this box try typing dynamic sorry. dynamic web project then click next then give project name something blah blah, blah. Uh, for just an in instance I am creating this I created uh, already one then it live as it is then you, this is optional you can create web.xml but not necessary once you click finish a project is created for you as it is created here. I named my project CRUD operations. So, as a part of this, uh, I am writing an uh, JSP file register.jsp. I name it, going to name it as register.jsp where people can register themselves. Finish now. It is created. Now it is our time uh, to edit the little here. So I'm naming this as registration system. Okay, so modify it. I'm creating a table. I'm copying and pasting the things. Okay. 
वो फर्स्ट फर्स्ट नेम लास्ट नेम सो लेट मी काउंट हाउ मेनी फील्ड्स क्रिएटेड इट बी हेल्पफुल फॉर मी कॉपी पेस्ट थिंग्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन सो यूजिंग टेन फील्ड्स helpful for me copy paste things extend times 3 so let us start giving the name first name gender email password let me look into it oh i left state and city okay uh, for instance we'll take only one state say it as city okay so state age address state age address and skill skill sets in later part we will see how to send an ajax request using jquery once we selected a state uh, it should automatically populate the city things so its name it is normal naming it as txt f name so just is copying this to save your time pass uh, name gender radio button name should be common or the gender id male value male label or mail if if you uh, insert a label if you select the text uh, the uh, radio will automatically be checked so just send me copying this thing this thing again
finish. So server configured and uh, it is getting started. Wow, form created. Such a nice way. First name, last name, female, female when it is enclosed in said label. Email, password, password field is yes. then select box and then the text area, then the skills, skill sets. Oh, I forgot to keep submit button. That's not an issue. We'll do it quicker. HTML file creating buttons like this. F is equal to submit. Saving the buttons first. Wow, it's nice. Okay. Uh, in next part of tutorial, we'll teach how to create a servlet, and uh, once we submit this form, how Java is catching all these variables and putting into the setting into the database. Okay. Uh, thank you.